In this video, I want to show you how to format a table in APA style using Microsoft Word. This is frequently one of the more difficult and confusing things that students early in their graduate program run into. And there is no exactly right way of going about this. And I will honestly tell you that I use several different approaches depending on the complexity of the table and where the table is coming from. So what I'm going to show you is one way of doing it, but it may not be the only way or the best way for the particular situation that you find yourself in. APA is a little bit quirky in this respect. It only uses lines in the horizontal and it only uses them in the heading and just below the title and at the end of the table. It doesn't use them within the data area of the table at all. And so what you have to do a lot of times is take data that you've gotten from Microsoft Excel or from some other source that will oftentimes have borders around it and add rows to that table for the title and the footer and also remove some of the borders in the places where they don't belong. So what I've done on the screen is on the left side you see a completed APA table that is straight from the APA template that we've been using in class. On the right you see what would be typical if you were pasting a table from Microsoft Excel into your Word document. It doesn't have any table number or title at the top. It also doesn't have any notes at the bottom and it also has lines in places where it shouldn't. And so what I'm going to walk through now with you is the process of getting rid of some of the lines and formatting the table. So what I want to do now is show you how to get rid of some of the lines that you don't need and to format the table correctly with a title at the top and notes at the bottom. The first thing you'll notice is that this is a grouped set of headings. In other words, there are two groups with a group heading above it. And right now, the group heading is over the left column. But really what you want is for the group heading to span both columns. So what you would want to do in this situation is highlight both columns right click and choose merge cells and that will merge the heading or merge these two cells so that the heading spans both columns now in this case it already is centered but normally you might find that it was left justified and you might need to go in and click the center button up here in order to center the heading um, okay the next thing is we don't have a title row at the top. If you go over here and you you notice how the cursor changes into an arrow when you get near the the left side of the table but you're still within the cell. If you double click when that arrow is there instead of high if you're out here and you click it just highlights the cell or puts you into that cell. But if you go over here and you double click when it's an arrow it will actually highlight the entire row. Then if you right click and you choose insert you'll see insert rows above which is what we want to do so we're going to click there and it inserts a row above which we're going to make into the title uh, here in just a second now we've again we've got two cells here and we want a title that spans the entire table so we're going to right click merge cells and now we have a title a cell that spans the entire table from the leftmost cell to the rightmost cell. So at this point, all we need to do, oh, looks like it's centered, so we need to left justify it. That's the first thing. And we'll type in table one. And then normally you would just press enter. And if you do, sometimes that'll work fine. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll pad a little bit. It'll put some extra padding between the rows. So what I would suggest is hold down the shift key 
and press enter. And what that does is that's a special kind of carriage return that eliminates the padding that occurs between paragraphs. So that's just a, a hint for you there. And we'll type in sample example of a table, period. Now, the other thing that we see down here is this has a note at the bottom. So we have to go to the bottom of the table. Make sure again we've got that little arrow. Double click to highlight the row. Right click, insert, and this time we're going to insert a row below the last row. And that'll put it down here. Okay, we double click here because we've got three cells as you can see. We've got one, two, three. And we want this to all span. So we're going to double click, right click, and then choose merge cells here as well. Now we don't have to go and change this from center to left justified because this time it's already left justified. So now we just type in our note. Oops. Okay, and then you'll notice that the word note in APA style and the period after it are italicized. And APA does use a period instead of a colon in that particular situation. So now you can begin to see that we've got all the data in here that matches our table on the left but we still have our lines that we really don't want. Now there's multiple ways you could go about this. One thing that you could do is you could highlight the entire table by going up here to this little plus sign in the corner, clicking on it, and it highlights the entire table. You can then go to the borders and choose no border and you'll see that they disappear and now you don't have any borders. The problem with doing this is that the table becomes very hard to work on when you can't see the borders. And so what I typically like to do is leave the borders and in place and then take them out. And that way it allows me to see where the cells are. So I'm gonna, instead of right clicking this time, I'm gonna go to the design tab that appears up the top this will only be visible when you have selected something inside a table. So in other words, if I click out here, you'll notice that there is no design tab at the top. But as soon as I click on the table, the design tab appears. And you'll see that there's a border over here that you can choose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just this top row. In this case, we want to get rid of the sides and the top, but leave the bottom. So I'm going to go right here and I'm just going to click on the, the borders that we want to get rid of. And this is a, these buttons are all toggle buttons. So if they're blue, that means it's already selected. You can see the border. If it's not on, it means that it's not selected. You can't see the border. So if you wanted to turn off the bottom border, which is already blue, you click on it and it'll go away. There won't be a border click on it again, there will be a border. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the next row. Now in this row, we want to keep the top and bottom over the group heading area, but we want to get rid of these uh, vertical lines that you see in here. So we'll go in and we'll uncheck the left and the right but we also want to uncheck inside vertical border to get rid of it. Now, column heading right here is going to be a little different because we want to keep the the vertical or the horizontal line here, but not here. So we're going to click just in this cell. Instead of double clicking when we're out here, we're just going to single click. That way we just highlight that one cell. So we go here, we get rid of the top and the left. And now you can see that we're down to just having the this vertical or horizontal line under the group heading. And then we'll keep, we want to get rid of this vertical line you see here and here. So we will uncheck those. 
and now you see that we're beginning to get uh, our lines the way we want them and then we need to highlight these three and get rid of these vertical lines that you see there as well so we'll uncheck left and right and we'll also check inside vertical but in this particular case we still have lines between each line of the body now we could highlight this row and say get rid of the bottom one and highlight this row and say get rid of the bottom one but a quicker way might be just to highlight the middle row go to the borders and say get rid of the bottom and get rid of the top and now they're gone okay that leaves us with one thing more to do and that's we need to highlight the notes area and we want to get rid of the left the right and the bottom but we want to keep the top so that it matches okay and now we have a table that is formatted in APA style and ready to use.